Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that if you're returning. How you doing? Kids, if you live in one of these states, I want you to pay attention. But first, grab that coffee, whether it's iced coffee, hot coffee, maybe a snick snack or two, and let's get into it. So, one of America's most popular dollar stores is closing its doors, thanks in part to the garbage economy that we are all dealing with. The store is called 99 Cents Only. It has locations across California, Nevada, Texas, and Arizona. So if you live in one of these states, please pay attention, okay? They will begin shuttering all 371 locations as the company moves forward toward total liquidation. 99 cents only, that's the name of the store, is considered one of America's leading dollar store chains, along with Dollar General, Dollar Tree, which owns Family Dollar, by the way, and Five Below. The company released the following statement announcing this sad, sad news. It said, 99 cents only stores together with its financial and legal advisors engage in an extensive analysis of all available and credible alternatives to identify a solution that would allow the business to continue. Following months of actively pursuing these alternatives, the company ultimately determined that an orderly wind down was necessary. And the best way to maximize the value of 99 cents only store assets. So the CEO called the decision extremely difficult. He blamed various factors, including the pandemic, shifting customer tastes, inflation, and other macroeconomic headwinds for the demise of the dollar store chain. And of course, big government policies are directly responsible for persistent inflation and an unfriendly business environment. So he also said this was an extremely difficult decision and it is not the outcome that they expected to hope to achieve. And unfortunately, the last several years for this 99 cent only company have presented significant and lasting challenges in the retail environment, including the unprecedented impact of the pandemic, shifting consumer demand, rising levels of shrink, persistent inflationary pressures, and other headwinds, all of which have greatly hindered the company's ability to operate. Now, 99 Cent Only was founded in 1982 and is currently based in Commerce, California. The company employs approximately 14,000 people who will now have to begin to search for new employment. So 14,000 people will now be out of a job. I hope that they can find new employment and it's so, so sad, especially during these days, these times in which people can barely afford to get by as it is already. These are the same people who we know and love as friends and family members. These are the same people who are just like us, who have to make that decision on whether they're going to pay their electric bill or put food on the table for their families. Now, 99 cents only is famous for humorously advertising that it's open nine days a week and often invokes funny commentary on holidays with products sold for 99 cents. It also celebrated the 99th birthday of public figures and names 99 year old individuals as honorary spokespersons, which I find awesome. So if you live in these states and you shop at these, this store, Obviously, they're going to be having liquidation sales. So I implore you to go and see what kind of bargains you can find. Fill in your gaps. And 
fill up your your pantries because I'm sure that they have some amazing deals that is going to be going on. I'm sure that they're even going to be willing to sell their 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 shelving units. It's really sad that we live in a time when even nice big companies like this cannot even survive. But Walmart and Target can survive, can't they? Amazon can survive, can't they? But even Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, Dollar General, even they're closing their doors. And those are the stores that we rely on. Why is it that all of the budget-friendly stores are closing down? That's a question I often ask myself. Why? Why are all of the budget-friendly stores closing down, but all of the expensive stores are staying open? I don't know about you, but I honestly can't afford to shop at Walmart or at Target any longer. I can't afford to even shop at Publix. There's just no way. <laughs> I was grateful to find that Hudson's uh, discount uh, food store down in Pasco County. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even have food and you know meats in my freezer right now. But still in all, I think that there is something bigger behind all of these budget-friendly stores closing down. What is your opinion on why all of these budget-friendly stores closing down? I'd really like to know your opinions because I think that it would be noteworthy on why why are all of the expensive stores staying open all the while they they know we can't afford to shop there i know i can strange isn't it all right guys listen i'm out of here okay I will see you in the next one. You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping, and as always, fear less. Ciao.